everybody and welcome to Flop Talk. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can make a bunch of different foraging opportunities for your bird with absolutely nothing other than a towel. Now as a quick disclaimer, a towel is not going to be suitable for every single parrot. If you have a bird that is super, super hormonal and always trying to nest, they may try to chew at the fibers and pull them out, or they may see the soft, comfortable material as something to try to form a nest on. Additionally, if you have a bird that has a tendency to try and swallow fibers, then obviously a towel is not going to be a suitable material for them. You can do all of these with any sort of fabric that you have that you deem safer for your bird. You could use an old t-shirt, you could use like a tea towel, you could use a piece of cheesecloth. There are a ton of materials that you could use that may be safer for your particular bird. These are all foraging opportunities that I would only use under direct supervision. I use them a lot for their meals, so they get one during breakfast and one at the end of the day during dinner when there is someone actively watching them enjoy this enrichment activity. So the first one on the list is what the dog world would call a snuffle mat. And all you're gonna do is take your chosen fabric, lay it out nice and flat in front of you, and then you're going to very delicately just take your fingers and pull them in together to scrunch up the fabric a little bit. And this is gonna create a lot of grooves and ridges that your bird is gonna be able to snuffle through and find the food. Once you have it all nice and crinkled up and you've got all of these grooves and trenches, you can just sprinkle whatever chosen food you want. I will often use this for pellets, but you could use it for seeds and treats as well and let your bird dig around. This is an excellent activity for a lot of parrots because a lot of them are ground foraging species. And what that means is that they will frequently look for their food sources on the ground when they are normally burrowing between the grasses or using their feet to scratch at the dirt and bring up some of those seeds that they're looking to find. Creating these little grooves and ridges allows them to dig through as they similarly would through grass and be able to access that food. For this one, you can make it easier by simply making less ridges in the towel. That way the grooves are a lot shallower, it's easier for them to find, and they're not having to really squish the pieces of the towel or the fabric away in order to access that food. Now this next one is going to look very, very similar to a Swiss roll cake. And this one, if you have a very, very small bird, I would recommend using like a tea towel or a hand cloth, something just a little bit smaller so they're not gonna struggle quite as hard. But basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay your towel or your fabric completely out flat, sprinkle all of your seeds on top, and then delicately roll this up. And you're gonna end up with something that looks like a Swiss roll. Inside each of the rolls, there is a ton of seeds for them to find and chew and figure out how to get in there. There's a few different ways to solve this one. A lot of birds will initially go at the end and begin to try and stick their head in the little crevices in the side to access the food, but they're not gonna be able to unroll the whole cloth in order to get it that way. This can be a fun activity to boost your bird's confidence as they try and problem solve how to access the food inside this little Swiss roll. Lots of birds will take to just grabbing it and thrashing, hoping that more foods will come out and that will kind of gradually unravel the towel. Um, for other birds, they may actually learn to properly put their beak up against the long edge of the towel and gradually push it in order to access the food that is hidden inside. This next one I don't really have a name for so feel free to name it yourself but you can basically pick a plate or the floor just a big flat open surface and all you are going to do is take your piece of fabric and lay it on top. Pretty simple there's just food hidden underneath it and your bird has to figure out how to lift the towel up and move it out of the way in order to find all the food that is hiding underneath. This can kind of replicate when leaves would fall on the forest floor and they would have to pick up and move those pieces in order to find the food underneath. This one can be a little bit more difficult for some birds since they are not like dogs that can really smell that the seeds are under there and figure out how to get under. They will need you to guide them quite a bit while they try and figure out that food is available underneath this towel. An easy way to simplify it is just to kind of fold the towel up a little bit so they can see some seeds right along the edge and then as they're kind of pecking at those seeds, you can gradually roll it back for them and they can begin to learn that things are further and further underneath that towel or underneath that cloth and that will teach them to push it away by themselves. Next up, we have a little bit of a stocking stuffer. And so I'm going to take a food bowl. I'm using a stainless steel one, but you can use whatever you are currently using for your bird. You could use foraging toys for this as well. You just need something that is relatively cup shaped. You can go ahead and you can put their seeds inside of that and take your cloth or your towel or whatever and stuff it on top. Yes, this one has a second item, okay? It's not just a towel, but everybody has a food bowl, so it's fine. 
your bird will solve this puzzle by having to grab that piece of fabric and pull it out in order to expose all the seeds that are underneath. To help your bird learn that there are seeds underneath that towel, you can put the seeds at the bottom, put your towel on top, and then you can sprinkle more seeds on top of that, and that will encourage them to peck through the towel, and they may begin kind of pulling at it to move some of those ridges and wrinkles out of the way to access other seeds, and as a result, they will slowly begin to expose the seeds that are sitting underneath the towel. If they're really, really struggling, again, you can model this behavior for them by lifting up just a little piece of that towel so they can see that the food is accessible under there, and then gradually lowering it, so that way they are having to push the towel just a little bit out of the way until they eventually learn to grab the whole thing and throw it out of the dish. With a lightweight dishcloth or a hand towel, you can easily make a small little hammock that you can put a bunch of little seeds in, and the fabric from the sides will kind of flop over and conceal the seeds a little bit or your pellets a little bit. And this creates a nice, easy little alcove for your bird to then kind of dig around, move the pieces of fabric out of the way in order to access the seeds inside. This can help get your bird exploring and searching out new locations for a treat, which helps keep them busy, keeps their brains occupied, and encourages them to check out a variety of different places for their food instead of assuming that everything is just gonna come out of one bowl. Since it does have a little cove, you don't want this to trigger your bird's hormones if your bird is really inclined to try and lay eggs or try and produce nests. This could trigger that, so obviously, you know, be cautious about it. If your bird is more likely to do those things, this may not be the right activity for them. And because this does produce a little cup shape, depending on the size of your bird, this is something they could potentially get stuck in if they are left unattended. So obviously do be cautious with it and only use this one under super. So those are some very quick foraging ideas you can do with just a towel or a piece of fabric you have at home. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Hi. Are you coming too? Yeah, good job.